You see, Collins and all the rest of them, I know all of you, one after the other. And I will take all of you with me until Biafra is restored. But as a big European, you will say, Israel will ask you to make. I told you people before that I will not let you down. I will never disappoint you. I will never abandon Biafra. I will never make one dime with Biafra. I will not have anything until Biafra comes. They came to my house. They shut it to pieces. Somebody asked me, when are you going to rebuild it? I said, when we get Biafra. Had you served your suspension, when I come here now, after listening to your submissions, I will blame everybody else, but not you. But you did not obey that very cardinal command from my number two. If you disrespect you, gentlemen, for you disrespect me. Do you understand me? Yes. Because our life is in danger every blessed day. Each time Uchemme 4 travels out of the UK, when he comes back, they detain him, despite the British passport, for almost one hour. You don't know what I'm passing through in England, do you? Do you know they have come to kill me in England even as I went back? Are you aware of that? I'm telling you now so that you know. Because of me, the zoo signed a protocol with Interpol. Are you aware of that? Yes. They want to stop me from entering West Africa. Are you aware of that? Yes. We don't know. We don't know. You see, there was something that go on said, and now they are putting it into place. They said, infiltrate them and divide them from within. So they will be fighting amongst themselves. So they will lose focus. Today, I don't know if you all over the place. I don't think you even know what is happening. Are you aware that you're saying Yes, I'm aware. Tomorrow night, they'll kill him and they'll say he's not the Canada. And he must die. Was the same man and his gang, including the governors, oh when the information got to me that I would okay, see, pass the day for my will you be unknown? I've connived with our Safalani army to come and kill me. They held their meeting at Nikolek Resort. That's a Nikolek Resort. Name every prominent evil man you know living in Lagos. Their hand is in it. They sat down and held a meeting and said the death of Nam the Kanu will save Igbos living in the north. And okay, Zip also opened his mouth to say the same thing. Go and watch some BBC Igbo. He's there. He said it. That the lives of our people are in danger in the north. So sacrificing one person to save those in the north was one. Some of you don't know what we encounter on a daily basis. You don't know it. Not half of it. Not half of it. My father is not in his palace. My mother is not there. Some of you will remember when I was broadcasting, I said I will sacrifice my family for Biafra. Today I have sacrificed everything sacrificable. I also told you, I'm saying all these things that they may remember it. 
Because everything I say here is gospel. I said it here on this platform, on Radio Biafra. One day they will come to our land, they will kill us, they will rape our mothers, they will rape our daughters. Is it not happening? Did I not say it? They tell me to make Radio Biafra body. I said it. I have a headline here from Anam, Anam Brastic. Exactly what I told you many years ago. What does it say here? It's from Punch newspaper. I want to get the precise date so you understand. The date of this very news is the 23rd of April 2019. The reporter is one Tony Okafor in Oka. Do you know what the headline says? No. Only one you Hates men killing us and raping our wives. And I'm right. This was what I said in 2014. Yes. Let me tell you something. It's not because you're seeing me here. There is nothing I tell you once I'm behind this microphone that will not come to pass. I said nothing. Everything I preach, everything I tell you is gospel. It must come to pass. The devil will not allow you to see it. Because some of us are born with one tiny ingredient. It's called envy. And jealousy. There is something I want this IPOB to do that nobody has ever done in Africa before. Is to fight and be free on our own terms, not the terms of other people. Do you know what I mean by that? South Africa was free, but not by their own terms. That is why they are suffering till today. Give South Africa 10 more years they will become like a typical black African country. Yes. That was why I chose that education is key. We must educate our people. And in reconciling this very family in Germany, we are educating ourselves that any position you hold in Biafra is temporary. It doesn't belong to you. You are serving us. One day, if IPOB decides I'm not doing the right job, they will tell me it's over. And I will go. Is that not correct? Yes. If I mess up, are you going to allow me to continue? No. Is that possible? No. Look at what we can now. Our people are on unforgiving, and they remember everything. Everything you say, everything you do, they remember. And one day, judgment will come. And once when that time comes, you will tell your children to tell their children to tell their children that in your time, there was a man called on Nam Bekan. Everything I do is not because I am strong, I am smart and intelligent. No, it's by the grace of Chukukika Biyama. And that is the only way that Biafra can come. It's not about what we do, but we must be on the upright, on the straight, on the narrow, truth and honesty. That we may be blessed. We are the largest mass movement in the whole world by now. By now. I said the largest in the world. Forget them in your in your Pundesta. They all know about IPOB. Are you listening to me? Yes. Everybody knows about you. What happened in our case is that Yoruba media, they are the one that set your agenda for you. They tell you how to reason. The reason why you're gathered here is because we have to see. If there is no other way to disseminate this very gospel, none of you will be here today. Because the Europeans control your brain, at least a part of it. Before, not 
Ah, pas Biffon. This morning I got up and I was asking myself, why is it that you don't call another one in Yoruba? Church myself in Yoruba or shop for Yoruba? And we are the ones going to their churches. And I don't understand it. Somebody answering to the man is taking the money from somebody answering he gave to that is the reason why we have come that we may educate. We are a very special people. Very proud and arrogant and I make no apologies about it. Because even look at said it. You know, to Yoruba media, you can call somebody Lord Lugard. But when we jokingly do our singing, saying, Man, the Kano is another. Save they become afraid. They become angry and afraid. It's not a joke. Can you go, my Lord? No man can call. The reason why we preach this gospel in the open, not in secret. Is that our children may learn. Yes. And they are learning. Do you know where I learned it from? When I was an undergraduate in England, I studied American history. And I kept saying to myself, why is it that when something happens in Russia, they always put under the carpet? But in America, everything is in the open. Yes, they are the strongest nation in the world. Uh, uh, do you follow me? Yes. That is why I hold such sessions in public. Because we all learn from it. No sweeping anything under the carpet. That when Biafra comes, we may continue on that same line without deviating to hold everybody to account in public. So that Biafra will not be like any other country in Africa. People are against us. I'm telling those who we are quarreling outside before. You don't need to quarrel amongst yourselves. You have thousand and one enemies outside that want you to die. I'll give you a very funny. You know the video of me and my beautiful wife. I challenge some of you right now, if you go to Facebook and write Radio Biafra London, our own, you will not see it. Yeah. Yes, now, all those ones you're seeing was done by, uh, is a DSS on now. Huh? Yes. I can show you. Facebook is against Are you following me? Yeah. Yes. Ask any IPOB family member in New York, when Trump was elected, we went to go and felicitate with him as we are coming, the CNN cameraman saw their front flag and lowered his camera. <laughs> we went to him and asked him, what are you doing? He said, do you, you want him to sack me? <laughs> How many people have they killed in the zoo? Have they put it outside? No, no, no way. Eh? No, no way. way. 
How many enemies do you have now? How many have I counted? <laughs> do you know that the turnover of Shell is bigger than the budget of the zoo? Yes. Turnover. I didn't say profit. I said just uh, yes. <laughs> It's more than the whole zoo budget. One single company. Shell. <laughs> I want all of you to understand the enemies that you're facing. I won't walk over that thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you're not trying to get good. No, 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 because they know we represent the light. Yes. Once Biafra stands, the Africa will be liberated immediately. Yes. So you think they don't know? Is that what you think? The only people to have lost three and a half million. Nobody wants to talk about it. I'm not, I'm not trying to denigrate the people that died in Rwanda. With all due respect, Rwanda was only 150,000 people. We lost 3.5 million people. And counting. Nobody wants to talk about it, not a single soul. They are your enemies. Both the ones you can see and those that you cannot see. My only anger and pain is that the so called leaders that you have in Igbo land. They are too compromised, too deep in the mess called the zoo to recognize the danger we are all in. That is why Fulani can come to Anam and kill us and get away with it. And you are not paying. <laughs> but they are not paying. They are not paying. Somebody said to me, do something about Anam. They are killing our people. IPOB was restless on the ground. I still need to give them the order to take them away from Anam. There's some of you are going, you've not paid. So I'm asking myself now, how am I going to sustain this group back home in Anam to and chase them away? But eventually we did it anyway. <laughs> so let me so who do you think just away full and has me from Anam? Is it you? <laughs> oh one day they just got up and just disappeared. Is that what you think? We chase them away. Your enemies are plenty. And as you are now in Germany's problem, they are entering into our land. They have taken a portion of Ebony. They have colonized Abia. Lop, and you know Lop, Anta? They've taken it over. They went to Newe asking us to give them the land for Beria, Not to build business in Sober for Beria. And I was educating some people about discipline and application. I preached all the time on Radio Biafra that we are not disciplined enough to pursue a puritanical freedom fighting movement. Let me tell you what Al Majri has that you don't have. Al Majri has discipline, but you don't have it. Some of you, when you get angry, you don't know where to direct your anger. You push it to your nearest brother and the nearest family meeting of IPOB. Remember when they came as a guy, as you shine, as the people cutting your nails. Do you remember them? Yes. Do you know that they are they have now metamorphosed into the present killer headsmen that you see? Yes. They have been in our land, some of them for 25 years, planning for now. Planning for what they are doing now in our land. To the extent that they are now coming out boldly to tell you 
that you can no longer in your lifetime be the president of the zoo. You cannot do it. They're not saying it openly. Even telling Yoruba, you are not going anywhere. With impunity. Because we allowed them. Our fathers allowed them. We fought a war for three years. Had we sustained that war for another six months, believe you me, the war would have asked Biafra to be free. But in our hurry to go and open up our shop in Samangeli in Kali, we gave up. That is why when I look at IPOB and ask them, are you sure you are ready to make the necessary sacrifice for Biafra to come? Do you know what we are fighting? We are fighting demons that the eyes cannot see. When every major petrochemical company in the zoo is against you, that means Italy is against you. Germany with Julius Bergadier is against you. Don't you know that? Britain is against you because BP is there. US lobby is against you because Halliburton is there. Texaco is there. France is against you because Elf is there. Now you are beginning to understand the number of enemies you have. Yes, sir. Amen. Who come and help you? Who come to help you? Who come You don't even know the enemies you have. When we go to see them, they say, "Oh, we've received. Have they killed any more people?" <laughs> and I said to them, "Yes, they have killed many more." They said, "Bring us their names." Meeting our master. At the end of the meeting. That we are making progress. IPOB is not in the business of buying and selling. Our mission is to restore the Afra. When they brought me inside Kuja prison, I said no. That railway you see them building today was idea I gave them in DSS. The cost for me, I gave them that idea. Cool. They asked me, they said, you are an economist, what do we do to reduce unemployment? I said, embark on railway construction. So that when the rail comes to every village, the youth from that village will work on the railroad as a way of generating employment and also boosting the supply side of the economy. <coughs> They carried it out home, but they left Southeast and South South. Where did they come from? They came to me, they said, Well, hey, you're very bright. Why don't you become vice president or just name it what you want? And I said, I want the Afro. They said, You stay here. <laughs> They said to their man to me when I was in Kuja, you all know who they said. And I said, no, I am not for sale. Till today. Till tomorrow. Till forever and ever. We are not going to stop until Biafra is restored. And the last time I said that I would not be or seek any political office in Biafra land, some people saw it as an opportunity to carry out a coup. <laughs> that is how foolish some of us are. I want to show Biafra people what sacrifice is all about. It is not in what you say, but in what you do. We will serve Biafra. Biafra will come in our time. Yeah. It depends on how you wish to go forward from here today. Not when your enemy goes. Maybe one of them that went to that went to UT school without even scoring four four marks during the exams. This is what they are doing now to you. That's what you don't know. They go and they change their name to an Igbo name. And they're on Facebook. 
They're asking and people them. They're on Facebook. You don't know they're not evil. You don't know they're not in junk. They are not a thief for you, baby. They are Yoruba. Because they know if they come as who they are, they cannot break IPOB down. They know that very well. What do they do? They go back and they create fake accounts. They come answering very useless names. Trying to go to your mind, inbox you, twist you, so that you will fall. Only Fulani people. They have Boko Haram. They have Al Qaeda in the Maghreb. They have ISIS in West Africa. How many times have you seen an Awusa or Fulani castigating Boko Haram on Facebook? No way. 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 That's how foolish we are. We think we are intelligent. Oh, why don't I ask about the first one today? So people will know me. In my banner, I can watch it. But I want to ask those of you who are here. I hope we are, we are live on Facebook. Yes, sir. How many of you here, how many of you here paid defense fund? I'm going to have a good name. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Have you seen it? Have you now seen it? I'm not even going to come. I want to prove to all of you that anybody who comes to ask for the first one has not paid the time. Who knows, man? I won't do that. IPOB will then come So they think we are multi billionaires. <laughs> and I love it that way. Yes. Because when I started broadcasting to all of you on Radio Biafra, I told you something that my grandmother told me. May her soul rest in peace. Yes. My grandmother told me that they went to Zakole for a ceremony. I've said this thing before on Radio Biafra. Village, yeah. My grandmother was there. <laughs> Not to make any video, it doesn't, there's no video. <laughs> and she said there was a very poor man in the village. Others were buying cows, buying goats, everything, having fun. This man went to his farm to go and get to Goyam. So as people were making merry slaughtering uh, cattle and uh, having fun, he prepared his um, kogoyam uh, porridge and had it. You know, after depending your guests in the house, you bring them to to Mbarama to come and dance. Is that not correct? They went to the village square to go and start dancing. Do you know who the best dancer was? The man that ate only kogoyam. <laughs> And they were asking him where is he getting his joy and energy from. Do you know what he said? There's no more should come and say. There's no more should come and say. After that, I'm in Do you understand? That is IPOB for you. We are very strong and we are very formidable because we know where we are going. Because we are determined and we are resolute. If you break any rules within IPOB, it doesn't matter. Are you listening to me? It doesn't matter who you are. I will remove you from IPOB. It doesn't matter how close you are to me. Anything that the European rep says should be done in Europe will be done. Even if it's wrong, go do that thing first and then report later to say, This is what he made me to do. Okay. That is so that every blame will now go to him and not to you. Yes, Never take the laws into your hands. Yes, I came here today very angry with Munich. I wanted to dissolve Munich live on air today. I'm telling you the truth. Because nobody can hold IPOB to ransom. I hope you know we've not been born. When Biafra comes, you can do as you like. But 
right now, we are pursuing enemies that are far more stronger than we are. But by the grace of Jesus, we are all of them. Yeah. 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 You do as you are told to do. Germany is doing very well. And Munich will remain ever so strong as they've been before. Yeah. Every disagreement will be resolved between tonight and tomorrow morning. Yeah. I said all of it. All of it. All of it. No stone shall be left unturned. Because our enemies. Uh, I'm sure some of you here in Turkey do who are told. Is that correct? Have you, have you asked them before to ask anybody back home where their help will come from? They will tell us how BOB. That is why today our announcer had to go and issue a press statement saying that everybody is under them. You've not read it, have you? Do you know what people said to them today? I cannot repeat it here. That's how bad it is. So the only hope our people have is those of you who are in IPOB abroad. And those making the supreme sacrifice at home. Making sure that Fulani has no foothold in their family. We are fighting that very battle. And when they come for us, they bring their army. As they do, you know, people. They say, track you. You allow them. You allow them to take your eyes away from the big battle ahead of us. Because we are holding the zoo in a very bad place. We have led their constitution to waste. Complete waste. At the time that we are holding them down, that the zoo is down, and if you have up from somewhere, and you abandon the battle that you are facing, you start responding to food. The best thing to do is to ignore these people. Ignore them because they are irrelevant. Once you ignore them, they are foreign animals who stop paying them. Everybody that know anything about the civil war, not civil war, the war of genocide against the African. The North have an attitude of rewarding saboteurs and traitors. Oba Biasita was insulting Ojubu. He was an invasion of a battle. Insulting Ojubu. He forgot that 300,000 Igbo people were slaughtered in the North. What mattered to him was his own Nigeria and his friendship with Yoruba. At the end of the war, what did they give to him? He became the administrator of East Central State. Today, do we remember who he is? In the whole of our land, we only remember one man. Only one. That tells you something. If you're fighting for Nigeria, defending Nigeria, your life is a waste. Because for those of us that support Liverpool, there is something they used to say at Anfield when we go there. Not just about what we know. That what we do in life echo in history. How you're remembered when you're gone is what matters. Who remembers Azikiwe? Who remembers Obad Yasika? Who remembers Ifajima? And as you rightly said, nobody bears their name. That's how bad it is. That is why, as, as um, slightly rowdy as Germany appeared today, as divided as they may have appeared in the past. But within me, inside me, I know that Germany is still one. Yeah. Yeah. If you have disagreements inside you, and Germany remains the number one in terms of
financial help to IPOB in the home world. Imagine what you will do when you're together. Can you imagine that? Yeah. All of you here are important. How many of you here are not married in truth? <laughs> How many of you are not married in truth? Now, listen carefully. I want to tell you something this evening here, which I've said before. Do you know that our sisters are no longer getting married the way they used to be in those days? Our sisters are no longer getting married because we are all at home. It is in the interest of our sisters so that Biafra should come today tomorrow. So we all go back home. When I was in Kuja, they came to do a uh, revival, you know. <laughs> in the prison. And one of our sisters I behind her say, Hey, Chile came in. The government did the one on the In all the world, the husband they're looking for outside, they're all in prison. <laughs> And I felt very sorry for her because she cannot marry herself. Somebody has to marry her. When we are very small, because I'm very old, not minding the white woman. When we are very small, in my village, I cannot remember any lady who is not married. I can't remember. Am I speaking the truth or not? Then look at our sisters today, what is happening to us. Our way of life, our culture is being turned upside down. They keep punishing us so that we travel abroad. And Yoruba will tell you, oh, it's because of oil that you want South South. You want to enjoy oil. And they have done so. There is oil in Anambra State, two or four. Do we have oil in Imo State? Do we have oil in Abia State? Yeah. The largest gas field in the whole of Africa, I said in the whole of Africa, is in Ohaji. But we allow ourselves for Yoruba to twist us and, and tune us like radio. Tune us, tune us, tune us. That when they mouth that rubbish, you want salsa because of their oil. Instead of you to ask them or say to them that I have oil in Anambra, I have oil in Rimo, I have oil in Abu, you respond by saying, Oh, this is not the reason why we are here. No, you must respond to them. And all of you must make a very solemn commitment tonight, this evening, here in Germany, that you must do what is right by IPOB by ensuring that Biafra is restored in your lifetime. Yeah. All that your intelligence you think you have, use it against our enemies. Because we are fighting enemies outside. Oh, my God, come on inside. What are we doing with them? They're useless. We only trying to sidetrack you. Because our enemies are numerous. <coughs> Apart from Benjamin Netanyahu, no head of state in the world has ever stood up to mention the word Biafra before. Are you aware of that? Yes. Yes. Then ask yourself, what are they afraid of? Chukwu Abia marketed us and gave us intelligence. And you know, we're hard working already. Anywhere we go to, we develop it. 
I want <laughs> us to channel every energy we have into making sure that their friends restore. I am begging each and every one of you, all of you to work together. If you're looking for an enemy to fight, you you send message to, to DOS. I will give you an enemy to fight. <laughs> I'm telling you, because there are too many of them. Yes. Where too many don't know this. Where too many. Do you know who started satellite broadcasting in the zoo called Nigeria? You know, so you know you have a channel TV and AIT. Do you know who started that very thing in Nigeria? Minaj Obosi. Broadcasting from Obosi. But channels that was nothing. Channels was rubbish. Nothing. Today, they are your village CNN. In the zoo. Why must it be him? If you are doing very well, I will benefit from it either directly or indirectly. That is the mistake we keep making all the time. That Nam Nekano is traveling all over the world, is known by heads of state, is the son, the equals of all your activities. I did not come out one day and became who I was. You made it possible. When I was arrested and IPOB blocked bridge for four days, no traffic. Why won't you honor their leader who is in prison? Do you understand me? And many have died in this process. Many have died in this very process. If we don't restore Biafra to honor them, their blood will be on our head. That is why we must restore Biafra. Whether the enemy likes it or not. And I appeal to each and every one of you, there will be offices to run for in Biafra land. When Biafra is restored, some of you are blessed with high intelligence. That will run Biafra, not me. Maybe some of you here will. Conserve your intellect and your energy for the work you're going to do for your land. I went to Israel and I negotiated with the Israeli government and some agencies to bring Israeli mechanized farming into our land. I'm sure you are aware of it. I want to give you an example. As soon as I finished concluding that very deal, not for two weeks, my can your channel back. Not for two weeks. Okay, Zimbazu okay, now decided that the time has come for him to go and see this Delhi ambassador. <laughs> <laughs> to come and replicate what IPOB is trying to do. Some of you don't know what they do. They call him in the middle of the night and ask them, <laughs> They don't know that we are fighting for our freedom. We are fighting for our own liberty, for our liberation from the zoo. Because the zoo has nothing to offer us. Absolutely nothing to offer us. If we continue in that very damnable zoological republic, there will be nothing left of our great place. There will be nothing left of Biafra and Nation. That is why we must fight them. That is why we must confront them. And that is why we must remain very resolute and very strong without retreating, without surrendering until Biafra is restored. Yes. Yes.